Greetings from Balapusta to you all. Every year at this time, Balapusta Cemetery will be a hive of activity as all the graves are prepared and dressed for the annual pattern, the procession and the blessing of the graves. Sadly, it is not possible to gather in the usual large numbers this year due to COVID-19 restrictions. However, the graves are still lovingly tended and dressed with the usual great reverence and respect for those who have gone ahead of us to their eternal reward. We have loved them in life, let us not forget them in death. We all have fond memories of gathering on Patron Day, standing at the graveside of departed loved ones, and seeing the First Communion children beautifully dressed and sprinkling the rose petals as they lead the Corpus Christi procession when the Blessed Sacrament is carried in procession. Yes, Balapusta Sunday is indeed a most significant and a very important day in the lives of us all every year. People traditionally come home from abroad, travel from all over the county and the country to be present here at Balapusta. We were honoured with the presence of our Archbishop Eamon who led the celebration of the Mass and the procession last year. Please God, we will once again have the procession and the pattern in its usual format. This year we, your priests, are concelebrating the Mass and offering this Mass for all your departed loved ones. Father O'Leary, Father Slater and myself, Canon Murphy, are privileged to offer this Mass and remember all who are buried here in Balapusta Cemetery. We will also bless all the graves. I thank all who are involved in preparing and dressing the cemetery and thank all who support the upkeep of Balapusta Cemetery, enabling us to maintain its very high standards. I thank Joe Finnegan for making today's Mass and blessing of the graves available via the social media outlets. I thank Brian, the sacristan and caretaker of the cemetery also, and just a word of appreciation to the Balapusta Cemetery Committee. Your work has not been forgotten and we look forward to you getting back in full swing again next year, please God. I invite Father Bran now to lead us in the celebration of this Mass for all our departed loved ones. He fed them with fine sweet and satisfied them with the honey from the rock. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, we pause for a moment to acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my you brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned. In my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, and God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, and Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy us. You know the Lord, you know the Lord, you know the Most High, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that they may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption. We live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. 
Moses said to the people, Remember how the Lord your God led you for 40 years in the wilderness to humble you, to test you, and know your inmost heart, whether you would keep his commandments or not. He humbled you, he made you feel hunger, he fed you with manna, which neither you nor your fathers had known, to make you understand that man does not live on bread alone, but that man lives on everything that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Do not then forget the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery, who guided you through this vast and dreadful wilderness, a land of fiery serpents, scorpions, thirst, who in this waterless place brought you water from the hardest rock, who in this wilderness fed you with manna that your fathers had not known. The word of the Lord. Response to Sam is, O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem. O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem. O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel, his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. The blessing cup that we bless is a communion with the blood of Christ, and the bread that that we break is a communion with the body of Christ. The fact that there is only one loaf means that though there are many of us, we form a single body because we all have a share in this one loaf. The word of the Lord. Yes, thanks be to God. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the living bread which has come down from heaven, says the Lord. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, I am the living bread which has come down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I shall give is my flesh for the life of the world. Then the Jews started arguing with one another, How can this man give us his flesh to eat, they said. Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, if you do not eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you will not have life in you. Anyone who does eat my flesh and drink my blood has eternal life, and I shall raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is real food and my blood is real drink. Anyone who eats my flesh and drinks my blood lives in me, and I live in them. As I who am sent by the living Father myself draw life from the Father, so whoever eats me will draw life from me. This is the bread come down from heaven, not like the bread our ancestors ate, they are dead. But anyone who eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, Lord to Jesus you, Lord Jesus Christ. There is no escaping the fact that this is a pattern solely unlike no other. With the ongoing half emergency, we have been forced to rethink how we are living out our lives at present. With social distancing and, and a moderatorium put on all mass gatherings, we have been challenged to find new and innovative ways to market this event. Therefore, we have resorted to streaming a virtual pattern Sunday via social media. Having spoken to several parishioners over the course of this past few weeks, there is certainly a palpable sense of loss 
as this will be the first time that they are not present during the blessing of the graves. I am acutely aware that for some families, this may have been their only opportunity for them to come together since the funeral of their loved one earlier this year. We must also remember those who are buried in the cemetery who have suffered from COVID-19 and who are not afforded the chance of a requiem mass. And to also keep in our prayers those families who throughout this pandemic could not have a proper wake and were restricted in the amount of attendees who could be there at the funeral. In Ireland, we have a great tradition of honouring and praying for our dead. We see at wakes how the neighbours and the community come together to help and support the grieving family. We also witness great attendances of funeral, funerals, whereby we primarily pray for the soul of the deceased, allowing our prayers to hasten the journey of a loved one into the kingdom of heaven. We also pray for those left behind, who carry the great burden of loss, sorrow and grief. We pray for them, asking God and his blessed mother to give them all the strength to carry their heavy crosses during this time. And during the weeks, months and years ahead, we see how people recollect the memory of their loved ones by offering up month my, month my masses, getting memorial cards printed and getting the anniversary mass said. These are all important milestones on our journey through grief. But what is also cathartic is our attendance here in this graveyard whereby we take the time out of our day to visit the mortal remains of our loved ones. We come here in full knowledge that our loved ones are enjoying the heavenly banquet, but as we stand at the graveside, we say a few prayers, shed a tear or two, but most importantly, we come together to remember them and to call to mind all the good times that we shared with them in their company. Whenever I pass by the cemetery right throughout the year, there always seems to be someone who is standing at the foot of the, gra of the family grave. And that is a lovely tradition, worth holding on to. But equally over these past few weeks, we have seen how people have taken the time out to lovely attend to our family plots, making them spick and span, and dressing them with lovely colourful flowers. This is a testament of your love and dedication to your deceased family members, and also the pride and respect that you have for this cemetery. We, the priests of this parish, thank you most sincerely for your love, dedication and devotion. Saint Monica, the mother of Saint Augustine, said on her deathbed to her two sons, to remember her as they offer up the sac sacrifice of Holy Mass. And likewise, here today, we, the priests of this parish, remember all the souls of the deceased who are buried in this cemetery during this Mass. Eternal rest God unto them, O Lord, and the perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. May their souls and the souls of all the faith departed, to the mercy of God, rest in peace. We now have the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. God did not make us for death, but for eternal life. Comforted by this faith, let us pray with confidence for our departed loved ones, for ourselves and for all others. We pray for all our departed loved ones. May the Lord look mercifully on them, Forgive their trespasses and welcome them to the splendour of paradise. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. We pray for all buried in the cemetery, 
May their suffering be lessened, may their joy be increased. May the light of glory shine on them, and may they rest in peace. Lord, hear us. We pray for all those who carry the cross of mourning. May God give them strength in their struggles, consolation in the present, and hope for the future. Lord, hear us. We pray for those who have no one left to remember them, that their goodness may still live on, their inspiration still guide us, and their faith lead us to God. Lord, hear us. We pray for those who will die tonight, that having lived in God and goodness, he may now welcome them in peace to their everlasting reward. Lord, hear us. We pray for ourselves, having known love in the faces of those we mourn today. May their lives be our, our example, may their prayers be our guidance, may we keep their memory alive in our own words and actions. Lord, hear us. Lord God, through the resurrection of your Son, you have kindled in our hearts the hope of eternal life. Guard this hope with your grace and bring it to fulfilment in the kingdom of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bless you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we have offered you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Let us be God Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual life. Bless us be God forever. My brothers and sisters, of my sacrifice and yours, may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. The Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, and praise the glory of his name, for our good and his good knowledge of the church. Grant your church, Lord, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace, whose signs are to be seen in history, and the offerings we have present. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We raise them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right and just. Us. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, mighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For at the last supper with his apostles, establishing for the ages to come, the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you as the unblemished Lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect prayer. Your sins are faithful by the sacred mystery. You make them holy so that the human race, bounded by one world, may be enlightened by one, one faith, and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament, so that bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities here are foreshadowed. Therefore, O all creatures of heaven and the earth, Sing a new song in adoration, and we with all hosts of angels cry out, and without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, our hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, as the highest. Blessed is he who comes to live with the Lord, who's the highest.
pain and was betrayed and had to willingly into his passion. He took bread and gave you thanks for it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. In a similar way, when so was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. Save us, the Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity. To the Francis, our Pope, even our Bishop, Michael is exemplary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. With the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we have been married to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day and our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessing and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord, the kingdom, the power, and the glory of us, and the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign ever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you, O Lord. Lord, your spirit, Lamb of God, you take, take away the sin of the world, have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called in the supper of the Lord. Lord, I am the Lord of the Jews, and enter under my roof. Said the Lord, my Lord.
Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him, says the Lord. The sacrament of divine love, the praise of the most human being in the world. The sacrament of most holy, the sacrament of divine love, the praise of the most human being in the world. The sacrament of most holy, the sacrament of divine love, the praise of the most human being in the world. Grant, O Lord, we pray that we may delight for all eternity, not sure in your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the present age by our reception of your precious body and blood, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Just to remind you uh, that we will go and bless uh, all the graves uh, directly after Mass. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. May Almighty God bless you all, Father, and Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Who forth our mass is ended. Thanks be to God. So Michael the Archangel, defend us in the hour of conflict. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. Be God for strength and humbly pray. And do thou the Prince of the Happy Ghost. By the power of God, to start the healthy. With him all the evil spirits. Who want to learn and seek to rule your soul. Faith. 
Please.